What's going on? I'm the College Jew. Welcome to a special episode of Let's Play Dragon Warrior 4. Uh, in this episode, I'm just going to go over some of the better places you can go with the uh, magic key to uh, upgrade your players. Uh, the first and probably most significant and important one being the secret, the uh, yeah, the secret uh, armor shop of uh, Endor. Uh, like that guy says, there's uh, many unique goods here. Actually, only three, but whatever. One of which is pretty common. But the ones you want to pay attention to are the Metal Babble Armor, which gives you 90 defense power. And like five people equip could equip it, I think. Hero, Ragnar, uh, Christo, Nera, and Taloon, who I don't give a flying shit about, uh, can all equip it. So, you know buy those. <laughs> and the Sword Edge Armor, uh, what it does, it gives you, I think, 50 defense power, either that or 55. But uh, what it does is, <clears throat> the more en the more damage an enemy does to you, physically, uh, the more da uh, it'll reflect uh, more damage to them. I'm sorry, let me uh, go over that a little bit. The, the properties of the Sword Edge Armor is that if an enemy hits you and you're wearing it, They'll, they will take damage as well. Uh, and the uh, less defense power you have, the more damage the enemy's gonna do to you, but also the more damage you're gonna get back. I don't really know the uh, algorithm, the algorithms uh, exactly about that. It's probably like, it's, it has, it's, it's gotta be like, maybe like 1% of the damage or something. Yeah, something like that, or, or 10% maybe, something like that, I don't know. Yeah. Like if an enemy does 40 damage, no, it's got to be about, well, no, we'll say 25%. Yeah, because I, I got 40 damage once and like, it did like 10 damage to the uh, enemy, so something like that. I don't know. I, it's not really of that much interest to look it up, uh, but whatever. Anyway, I think there is a treasure room in Brand Cup. If I'm not mistaken, I may be thinking of the wrong castle. Let's see. Yeah, they require a jail key, so uh, we don't have that yet. All we have is the magic key. <clears throat> oh, by the way, uh, the magic key can also open thieves' key doors too. Those old gourd, those old golden doors. Uh, <clears throat> they can also uh, unlock those, so you don't really need. Uh, the thieves key anymore we can just, we can put that in the vault uh yeah uh anyway um the uh, speedgamers.com is doing a uh, uh, final fantasy marathon uh which is pretty cool I'm, I'm about to watch it after I make a I'm gonna make a few more episodes until my roommate comes home so I, I do the, I do these episodes and I'm alone uh and uh, I'm gonna watch them. Hopefully, uh, beat the shit out of Final Fantasy One. I have to go work tonight, which is bullshit because they're gonna be playing through Final Fantasy Two, and I'm like, oh, probably when I get home. I just want to see how much they uh, can whip ass at a Final Fantasy One. <clears throat> uh, there's a lot more small medals that I forgot to get. Um. I'm gonna be doing another episode showing you where to cash those in because they are definitely you definitely want to uh, cash those in ASAP there are a total of I think 32 uh, and you can get some really powerful stuff with the uh, small metals so it's really good you know what Taloon is gonna have no items cause I don't give a flying fuck about them and I'm sorry that I'm cussing, but Taloon's a little bitch. He does nothing. His attack power and defense power are, are, are mediocre. He levels up quickly, but he doesn't gain any stats. He can't use spells. His attacks are random. And I ain't going over that, because... Well, here, let me, put, let me, let me just make a slight synopsis of it while I check the map to go to a sand team from chapter 2 here. Uh, 
Yeah, I know. Some map. <laughs> anyway. Taloon, what he does, if he, like when he attacks, he will do one of, I think, a to I think about 20 separate uh, things. Uh, oh, by the way, I'm leaving fights in, just so I can explain some more shit. What Taloon will do, he'll either do a regular attack, which happens like not even like a fifth of the time, or he'll do some wacky shit like he'll he'll be dazed and he'll waste a turn. Uh, he'll try to confuse an enemy, which hardly ever works. He'll try to put them to sleep, which hardly ever works. And if you're using him while grinding, uh, that only that's probably the biggest mistake you can make because on certain occasions he will actually tell the enemies to calm down. And if he succeeds, the enemies just go away. Which I find to be completely, totally useless. Some of the better things he'll do is that he'll trip and fall, and then they'll, they'll, uh, that'll land a critical hit. Uh, he can also call, he can also call for, uh, reinforcements, call for help, and, uh, merchants can come by and, uh, hit the enemy, uh, three times. Which is equal to uh, Tolun's attack power, which I really don't. Which isn't really that great. He could equip some pretty good weapons uh, later on in the game, but uh, let's put it this way: his ultimate weapon uh, increases his attack power by a hundred, and we can get that via small metals. But Hero, Hero Ragnar, and Christo can also equip the same weapon, so. I just find him to be completely useless. His defense power leaves so much to be desired. I mean, by the time you get to the end of the game, you're like, what, that's the only equipment he can get? I mean, Sword Edge armor, I think, is his uh, ultimate armor. Body armor. And so I just really don't care for Taloon at all. He is a useless character in this game and in the DS one. I think in the DS one he learned some spells. Like he learns Whistle which is pretty cool which just does like an automatic fight. Uh, I don't know, I haven't played the DS one ever since I bought it. I mean I beat it in like three days. I beat it in... Let's say this, I beat it like eight hours after getting it. At my job while bored. So... <clears throat> Yeah, uh, I don't know if we have enough time in this episode to uh, explore Santine, but uh, yeah, definitely not because Taloon just gained a level. That dipshit. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna add some more clips to this <clears throat> because uh, there's some stuff in uh, Santine and Serene that. Uh, are worth showing. So, yeah. I will see you guys in a few seconds. Peace. Okay, we are back. Uh, yeah, uh, the Village of Serene has a uh, place where you can use magic key right here. And uh, what it does is uh, it gives you access to a shop with some decent upgrades. Not really much to take home, but whatever. There, there. Uh, you have the Staff of Force, which, uh, use it, which costs, uh, 3 MP to use, but it has some pretty good attack power. Uh, Poison Needle, which can one-shot an enemy. But neither of those are really... Ne the Venom Dagger has just much more practical, uh, uses. So, th the King of Team can... Total future, huh? Hmm. That's weird. There's nothing in these chests or drawers, by the way, so don't even bother looking through those. Hmm. Wow, that is, that is cool. Let's go check out that signpost. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Got the way, stupid dog. Let's see. Well, we're not exiting the town yet. Let's go down there and just get some 
Hey, here it is. Here's a signpost right here. Nice. You can hit either talk or search to read the signposts. Zenithian castles hype in the sky. Master Dragon was there. Master Dragon is so strong. Long ago he imprisoned the rule of evil and darkness. I think the people in Stanshaw in the North Sea can tell you more about the Zenithian castle. We'll be going there after... Yeah, we'll, we'll be going there uh, shortly after I uh, save Ragnar. But anyway, that's about does it for this episode. Uh, this is the College Jew saying peace later on, kids.